Here's the situation. So the whole time I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> we can report back as to what they're all called. <laughs> maybe, or maybe not. Later, not. later, later date. date. Boo. No. no. I get nothing but praise because each side is going to think I'm on their side. Do you guys ever feel that way? Like you just cannot get it all done? Morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Lot of I say good morning. It's 1220. It's not even the morning. I woke up this morning, did a little bit of work, and then went for my walk. And on my walk this morning, I walked to my mom and dad's house so I could have an opportunity to hang out with my mom for a little bit. My dad's on the golf course, so my mom was by herself, so I went over and hung out with her a little bit. So her house isn't really halfway through my walk. It's about two-thirds of the way through my walk. So I got there, hung out, had some water, chit-chatted, and made some plans for today, and then did the rest of my walk back. I am now unloading the dishwasher, and I have a list of things that I need to do. So my head is like, oh my gosh, get this stuff done. Like I, I'm i really bad at making social time because I feel like the work that I have, and probably a lot of work that you guys have, the work that I have never ends. It, it never ends. Like there's always one more social post. There's always more people to reply to. There's always something to plan for for the next day. Like it just constantly goes. So what I'm working on now, I've sort of brought that into my conscience. And what I'm working on now is to try to sort of um, divide that, compartment, compartmentalize um, the like the things I have to do with the, then like this, I don't mean to say things I have to do, like things that are on deadline versus like having social time, like being able to hang out with my parents, being able to hang out with friends, being able to go on a date with Mike, that kind of thing. So when I was over at um, mom and dad's, mom's like, hey, I wanted to go to the flower store today. Do you want to come with me? And normally I would have said, no, I have so much work to do. But you know what? Yes, I am going to go to the flower store with you. So how about that? So we're going to go to the flower store. It's a, a store that I haven't been to yet here. We have one at home. Um, I say home. Oh my gosh. In Maryland, I used to go to all the time that I loved. Um, and mom says that this one is like that one. And this also is my list. This is like um, a schedule that I put together. I've started to do this for about a month now, like every week of like what the different social posts are, what the different um, things that are coming up so I can schedule Make sure, make sure that I'm like incorporating stuff that we're doing because honestly, I will go through my day and completely forget to vlog and we've done all this stuff and I just haven't vlogged it. So I need to remind myself because I just get so busy. So anyway, today I'm gonna film one of my favorite things. If you guys haven't been following me on Instagram on my own personal account, it's Jill Donnelly on Instagram. I have started a series where every Friday I share with my followers. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't do that. That might weed people out. I share with my followers um, some of my favorite things and this is my second Friday doing it. So last week I shared um, my favorite backpack in the whole wide world. I absolutely love this and I've had a lot of backpacks, but that's my favorite one. So take a peek at that. And then um, to this, to my, today I'm going to share. Well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you. Go, go to my Instagram and take a look. <laughs> Holy cow. So um, take a look and see what that is. And then um, and check in every Friday to see what, what my favorite things are. And please, I'm looking for your favorite things too. So be sure to comment on there what some of your favorite things are. If you have a favorite backpack and then if you have your coffee, that kind of thing. I'd love to hear because I, that's how we learn about a lot of stuff, right? As friends, we share it all. So that's what's happening. Tonight is date night. Mike and I are going to go on a date. Again, I'm trying to fulfill my new mission of, of stopping work and taking time to go do stuff. So we're going to go uh, see a show tonight, which I'm very excited about. So um, in the meantime, I'm going to do some work, finish up the dishwasher, take a shower, film this thing for my favorite things, and then mom's picking me up at two o'clock. We're going to go to the flower store, so I'll take you with us. Um, around that time, Ryan should be coming home from school, too. He's got a big football game tonight, and um, lots going on. Oh, the other thing is Katie is desperately trying to get home. Katie Elizabeth is um, loves, loves, loves school, but misses, misses, misses family. So she is trying to either drive home, but I told her she can't drive home by herself. She has to bring someone with her or hitch a ride from somebody else. She has some restrictions on her time though, because she has to be back on Sunday for her sorority meeting. And then, um, she can't leave tonight until after circus practice. <laughs> so she doesn't really have a ton of time. This is the thing. I'm in support of her coming home if she wants to, but I'm also completely in support of her staying. She's trying to get Caden to come home with her, but Caden's like, I want to stay here. Well, who wouldn't? I have a bunch of fun at college, tons of friends. But um, but I understand if she wants to go home, that's fine too. Either way is fine by me. We are going to see them in two weeks up there in Tallahassee because we're going up for a football game with some friends. So that'll be very exciting. So if she doesn't see me this weekend, we will see her in two weeks. But I think it's not necessarily about seeing me and being with a family or like seeing us. It is also about like sleeping in her own bed and 
having home cooked food and that kind of junk. So I'll try to bring some stuff up. If we don't see her this weekend or next weekend, I'll try to bring some stuff up to her and Brennan at school, some like homemade food and that kind of stuff. Chili, pumpkin bread, that kind of junk. All right, so stay tuned. And all right, guys, I'm unloading the dishwasher. I just have to share this because I just think I giggle. I think it's great, but I giggle. Do you see what that is? Okay, this is Mike's cup. We got this for him for Father's Day. These are Mike's styrofoam cups. He drinks coffee out of them in the morning because he likes styrofoam, but he also then puts them in the dishwasher. <laughs> so I gotta tell you, I mean, I, no judgment here. I just think it's funny and it makes me giggle every single time. Um, I see those in the dishwasher. So comment below, do you guys like, do you like save aluminum foil and would you put your styrofoam cup in a dishwasher? Like we're pretty, pretty good with like trying to save money and resources, um, but that takes the cake. Okay, I'm gonna be real here. I'm gonna be real. I'm getting ready to go to the flower store with my mom and I'm freaking out because I have so much to do. Like I'm trying to film this thing for my Instagram and it's not working and mom's coming to pick me up and I'm probably gonna start crying because I just need to get this done, but I also wanna spend time with my mom. So I'm just being real. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. In the midst of filming, my ring light broke. And this is just how it goes. So I don't know. I like. I might have an impossible schedule to keep up with. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but anyway, I just being real. Do you guys ever feel that way? Like you just cannot get it all done. And the important things in life, like spending time with your mom, always get pushed to the side. And I'm not gonna do that this time, but I feel beholden as well to you guys. I wanna like, you know, deliver what I told you I'm gonna deliver. And it's just this internal struggle that happens literally on the daily. Last night I went to bed at 2 a.m. because I was up from 12 to two thinking. Anyway, it's not for me to complain. I'm a happy person. It's all gonna work out, but it's just like, ah, uh, this struggle. All right, mom and I are entering the flower store. Hi, Nan. Hi, honey. I'm very excited. Hi, everybody. Hi, Nan. Hi, everybody. Mom, it goes to this store a lot. This is her. Oh my gosh, look at all the pots over there. She's hyped this up for me, and it's so far exceeding the hype. So I'm pretty excited. Look at all the pottery. Oh my gosh, I could spend hours and hours here. So nice. Oh my gosh, those are my favorite right there. Look at those. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, mom parked a little crooked. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. You could put beautiful. one of those in there. I oh, could, but I can't dig them in. I don't well, that's think. that's all right. Put it in a pot. Put it in a pot. That's a good idea. Yeah. It's very pretty. And then it'll spread out, see, and take that whole area. Oh, I like that idea. I think so. Okay. Good. All right, you guys, these are called red lips. The more they are in the sun, the redder this part gets. Very cool. Mom and I each got one of those. I think I might get a ginger plant. Mom has this in her yard, and it's absolutely beautiful. I might put that in a pot in the front but there's so much more to look at and literally we just started. This is what we've decided upon because it's so hard to make a decision. So we're gonna go home and plant these. Mom will get those in her garden. These will be in my puny little teeny weeny garden and then we'll see what else we need. We can always come back, right Nana? Oh yes. Yeah, and we will. This is my third trip so far in the <laughs> last two weeks. Fantastic, I do love a flower store and this is, you know, in Mother's Day, the, the kids always used to take me to the flower store. Oh, it's a nursery, it's a nursery. All the little baby plant plants. <laughs> All right, so these are, okay, we already, already told you about that. This is called a crown something, Mom, what's that called? I don't remember. Red crown something, and this is a dwarf Mexican petunia. We're not very good at No, the, the red one, the green one, right? <laughs> I don't remember what this is called either, but I think he's really cool, because I like the purple and the green. I think he's a nice little flower plant. And then Nana got some vinca and some little green things. <laughs> Then another one of the things that I got. <laughs> we can report back as to what they're all called. Well, maybe, or maybe a later, not. Da later, later date. date. <laughs> Don't wait for it. All right, we got our tickets. They wrote right up our flowers, our plants, what we're getting, and then we take it inside and pay. You guys, look, wait, let me turn this around. Look at all of these beautiful uh, pots.
o'clock on Friday. This is like one of the best times of the whole week because it's like school's over, work's over. It's, it's the get ready to do what you're gonna do for Friday night kind of thing. Absolutely. So here's the situation. There's a game. My parents went away on a week's vacation. Do you know that song? Is that the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Yes, very good. I yes. don't know the whole thing, but I'll okay. Good. Um, we should learn it. There's a uh, football game. It's not our school, but it's two schools that you know we know and we know people at the schools. And they're playing, and we want to go to the game. And I'm rooting for one school because one school is our rival. The other one, I have friends at both, but you know I'm rooting against our rival, obviously. Well, yeah. So the theme for the rival school is like it's school either school spirit or pink. Uh, is the, wait is the is the game at the rival school or at the other school? It's at the rival school. Oh, it is. And I have some friends there, so I want to go in, you know, their student section. Mm -hmm. Not that, you know, not mm -hmm. that I'm rooting for the team, mm -hmm. but I just want to go in their student section. Okay. Because we're going to start there. And then, uh, but I'm really rooting for the other team, and their theme is a whiteout. So I put on a white shirt and a white, like, little bandana. Okay. Our rival school is red, uh, so if it's pink out or school spirit, whatever it is, this will go with it. I'm not okay. gonna get kicked out of the student section. Oh, okay, I see like what that's, you're saying. That's my. That's your goal that's is to, yeah, goal. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your ticket into the student section. Gotcha. That's my worry is that you know, because if I wear white, there's no way they're. But wouldn't you go into the student section of the other team that you want it? Are you gonna yeah, go to both? Like yeah, you're gonna bounce I'll back probably, and forth? I'll probably you know be at both throughout different parts of the game. But this is my disguise. <laughs> Wall tie. Excellent. And um, if you're gonna go like this, we're gonna start in one section. And then when I go to the other section, just take that off. one off. Okay. And, and then. And you're not wearing any shirts or any indication of what school you actually go to. Exactly. Right. Exactly. She wouldn't want to get like. I was gonna it. wear my school as a shirt like under this. Uh huh. But I'm just going. Okay. White out. Excellent. Uh, and then so I'm gonna like, I'm gonna tuck the. Oh tuck right. When up. you're in. Okay. But then when huh. you go to the other school. Wearing white? What do you mean? There's no white on it. Exactly. Boom. Yeah. When I go to the other one, bam, this comes off. Oh my gosh, Ryan. <laughs> you are going to get booed. You know that, right? Boo. No. no? I'm going to get nothing but praise because each side is going to think I'm on their side. Oh, that, I don't, you, that's a very, it's a very, um, what do you call it? Um, oh, what's the word? I'm kind getting old, Ryan. Clever. I can't think of word. Cla no, uh, yeah. Um, no, no, what is the word when you try to make both sides happy? Like, it's a very, um, uh, oh, what is that word? You guys, comment down below what that gaslighting? word is. No. no, 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 no. It's like, like um, uh, not accommodating, but it's nice. Okay. All right, very good. You know what Dad and I are doing tonight? You're going to, like, the theater. Right? Mm -hmm. You told me. I'm, can we, like, what are you going to see? We are going to the cabaret. Do you know what a cabaret is? I don't. A cabaret is... There's a show going on, mm -hmm. but you are sitting in the audience and you're sitting at tables. Okay. So like you can eat or have a cocktail while you're watching the show and you're at a table. So cabaret is more like a, less of a show that like has a story Yeah. and more generally um, songs and dance and stuff. So this one is called Music of the 70s. Oh, so I'm very excited. right after that. So, yeah, it's right before so Yacht the, Rock. It's like... <laughs> Before Yacht Rock. Yeah, it's the Jill Donnelly show. Yeah, basically. I'm pretty excited about it. Nice. I'm more of an 80s girl. Don't get me wrong. I am sh I'm like total 80s girl. But I thoroughly enjoy the 70s. Yeah. It's when the Jackson 5 started. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, come on. I know. So, yeah. Okay. Comment below what your, genre? Play, what your play would be. Or your genre of music. Oh, your play. Oh, that's a good... Sorry. I thought you were going to talk about music. Okay. What, what play you'd want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Is there any plays that are on your list that you want to see? I don't know if they've made a reenactment of the 2018 uh, Stanley Cup Finals yet, <laughs> but whoever they play to pick to play Alexander Ovechkin, it better be good. Um, that'd be my play. That, would go that was fun. That was the very same night that Brennan and Ellie went, went to, a, to concert a concert and they came home and we were having a party yeah. in our house. You guys, we can show you that video. That was a good one. That was a great video. Yeah. Um, or, you know, great party and a great day. Yeah, it's a great game, all of it. So, it yeah, that, that would be my play. In terms of music... It would probably be a, I don't know. If I was feeling more chill, it'd be like Bruno Mars or like Coldplay. Okay. Because why not? Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. Just, a good concert. I mean, just absolute bangers. Like, yeah, if you apparently look at, the Coldplay concert's really good. A lot if, you of look at their, really good. if you look at their lineups, I mean, they just, they just produce bangers. One banger right after the other. Um, bang, 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 bang. If I'm feeling um, 
you know, I'm, hey, Poppy. Yeah, I'm like a little Uzi Cardi duo. Okay, sure. I mean, who wouldn't? Um, um, Hi, Michael. How are you? Oh, you're looking fancy for our date. Nice. <gasps> Stop. Wow. Are those some new kickers? The lemon pepper. Oh, Dad, don't crease them. Look at the lemon pepper stackers. Oh, cows, man. He hasn't been on a date with me for a long time, so he's pretty excited about it, I can tell. He's dancing. <laughs> anyway, um. Doesn't say a word. But you guys, you know that's Mike's signature popcorn. Like, that's what he does. It's popcorn he, with Old Bay on it. He eats popcorn. Ryan, How would you say? Such a simple way to look at it. Four times a week, Mike? No, it's an say? art for sure. But yeah. yeah, definitely a popcorn art he's got going there. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I got to get ready because Dad so and I are going to go have some dinner. My din -din. weekend is comprised of uh, going to this game uh -huh. and pleasing everyone. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Saturday is going to consist of, I think, golf, uh -huh. maybe a movie, and the beach. There's three ideas Whoa. circulating. What? Wow. I don't know if we're going to get all that oh, done. I'm not going to be able to stay up all night. Uh, it's going to be fun Saturday, though. Okay. And then Sunday is going to consist of strictly NFL football and homework. Or er, church, NFL football, homework. Okay, just know that tomorrow night's the FSU game at 730. Be here or be square. Why don't you do the They're playing now? Clemson. We're so doing a fire at the beach. Wow. Not that I'm going to miss it. Okay. I'll have it on my phone for sure. Okay. Like right. I knew. Okay. But... Dad and I might go yeah. to a sports bar and watch it so we can be around friends or like other fans, or we'll just sit right down in the, our co cozy, comfy couch. Might as well. Um, anyway, uh, that is. We gotta go. I gotta go get ready. We were supposed to leave 10 minutes ago, so I gotta get oh, ready. Right. I mean, we're, we have some wiggle time because we're going to dinner, but yeah. Alright. Have fun. Alright, you guys. Mike and I are here at our, on our date. <laughs> so I did. We went to a sushi place first, and now, oh, and now we're at the cabaret. And we're gonna see this, that '70s, more than a decade. I'm very excited about that. Love '70s music. Love all yeah. kinds of music. We just had dinner right here at the cabaret. So cabaret, if you guys don't know, cabaret I think means like a theater where you sit at tables and you just sort of watch. I'll show you the stage. Hold on. That's what the stage looks like. There's, there we go. I think there's only four performers in the show and they're gonna sing all the different songs from the 70s. So there's a pretty cool art scene here where we live and we are totally ready to conquer it. This is our first show since we moved here and I'm so excited to see some more. So, so far we're having a blast. giving them all the love I can give them and <laughs> loving them and singing with them and dancing. And um, anyway, it's about the seventh. How, how do you do that? So, we're having a good time. Are you enjoying it, Mike? You are. He, he said he loved it. I can't wait to go back. door with the key and then left the key in the door. That was awesome. That was a good idea. Cause that's great. Brian, how was your night, baby doll? It was fun. Yes? Yeah. Who won? Uh, your rival or the other? No, the rival. Uh, oh. But also we, we had a football game at like our school. It yeah. was a while away. It was like 30 minutes away. So no one went. We got killed 55-17. Ooh. You're uh, happy you didn't go. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, so did you get in trouble for wearing white and red? Oh, and no, 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 no. No, so you, you navigated that well. Did you go oh, back yeah. and forth between different stands or no? No, we went to uh, 
the, like the rival stands, but they said it was too full, so we didn't even get in. It was so dumb. Their student section was horrible. Well, then you don't even want to be exactly. there. I mean, so, you don't want to be part of a horrible student so, yeah, section. Who would? The pink shirt was, or the, you know. The Alabama sweatshirt. It was awful. Awesome. I was, uh. Okay. Yeah, White out the whole time. Easily, yeah. Very good. Yeah. What made you happy today, baby doll? Uh, it being Friday. Yeah. Seeing the boys and looking forward to tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Golf, beach, good <laughs> stuff. Oh, sounds like a fabulous day. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would, that would make me happy too. All right, Michael John, what made you happy today, babe? Oh, well, thank you for asking, Chili. <laughs> what made me happy was hot date with my <laughs> still hot wife. God, God bless you. you. <laughs> totally fun. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> Ryan, do you have to do wow. that? Right in the middle of a nice moment. Your dad was like complimenting me. And... <laughs> All right, you guys, what made me happy today 100% was going on a date with my lovely husband. We had a glorious time. The show was fantastic. So much fun. So, um, happy. that is my purse that my mom gave me. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And I wore it tonight. All right, I used it tonight. I love it. Thanks, mom. Nice, mom. I'm, I'm a flamingo girl. In case you guys did not know, I am in love with flamingos. <laughs> I love the color pink. I love everything flamingos represent as relates to like <laughs> tropical and Florida and everything. So, thank hey, you guys. So, what? Uh, stop talking. Oh, he's, ta he's singing. He's singing in the mirror. I, yeah, I do that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.